This Fuji can go to the cloud, and the Snack on 5100 can go to the cloud, and even the Sony RX100 go to the cloud. They all go to the cloud. Check it out. This is the Axon Simul Pro. For $350, this tiny device lets you record directly into the cloud and stream to social media. It doesn't matter which camera you're using, and it doesn't matter how old it is. As long as your camera has video output, it's fair game. Once you're done connecting between the Simo and Frame.io and the phone and everything, you're gonna hit record and it starts recording. As you can see, immediately on Frame.io, I get a positive notification that something is going on. And once it's on Frame.io, you can do everything that you're used to with Frame.io. So you can do proxies or actually Frame.io will do the proxies for you. You can share, you can send for review. This is just Frame.io, right? Uh, here's another cool thing. For me, positive feedback is huge. So you know that there is something going on. You see the zero bytes file and you know that that's recording. So you're safe. You know that you can relax. If for any reason the connection breaks, you don't get those broken files or you don't need to repair the file. Now, Frame.io does not support growing files yet. So you have to wait for the recording to stop in order to see the full upload, but you still get the upload. So you're safe. So the Simu is going through an iPhone and Apple limits their protocols to 1080p. So Frame.io will only receive 1080p files. This is why I'd mostly consider the Simu for social media, which is 1080p anyways. Either way, the camera and the Simu Pro recordings are not connected. If you want full res 4K files, you need to hit the record button on the camera as well as the record button on the Simu Pro. You can find the app on the App Store by looking for Axun C. They have a few apps, so make sure this is the one you select. You need an iPhone device, but you probably have an old one in your tech drawer. I have a tech drawer. And if not, this iPhone 7 is only $60 on eBay, and I gotta say, it does the work well. You can also use the Simu Pro to record into the phone or stream to social media like Facebook, YouTube, and um, a weird service called uh, Billy Billy. Or you can use an RTMP stream to basically stream anywhere you want. The only exception here is Instagram, which requires you to use the phone's native camera. And sadly, this is not the phone's native camera. The Simo Pro has HDMI and SDI inputs on the bottom and a locking quarter 20 in between. It has SDI loop, but not HDMI to SDI. On the left, we have another quarter 20 and two USB-C ports. The idea is that you plug your phone into the Simo and you get both power and video on the same cable. Or there is another USB-C port to power a second device. On the right, there is another quarter 20 screw and on top, the last quarter screw. Those things are everywhere. Plus a power button and a battery indicator. I gotta hand it to Aksun because all those quarter 20s make your life really easy when it comes to rigging. On the back, you have an NPF battery slot and a Limo 2 pin power connector. Once everything is connected, you press this little button here to turn it on. And you can see those little dots moving along. So once you start the Simo app, the Axon C, it's going to ask you to configure a few options. One of them is your Frame.io user, and you can go in and select a user and a project within that user. Just remember that on Frame.io, you have to enable cloud connections, and then you can see all your cloud devices, and it even shows you if they're on or off and if they're working. So again, everything is positive feedback, so you know you can be relaxed and that things are working as they should. In terms of social media, you have three pre sets for Facebook or YouTube or RTMP, and you can just swap between them. Frame.io is a production tool, so it's more reliable than a service like, say, Google Drive. And trust me on this one, we ate a lot of French crap with Google Drive. The Simo Pro also has some nifty monitor tools to help you with recording. Personally, I usually turn on waveform to make sure my exposure is correct and I'll make sure my audio levels aren't peaking. Lastly, I will also use a lot. We're recording on S-Log3 and it's very convenient because the Axon app already has a built-in LUT for it. So cool. You have a lot more assist tools and you can customize each one to a certain degree. Actually, you have a lot of leeway. But if I were to cover everything, we would be here all day. So let's just say that it has everything you'd expect from a monitoring app. False colors, zebra, grid lines, the squeezing, focus PK, oh really, it's a full-fledged monitor. And the latency is just amazing. Um Amazing. And here's the thing, right? So iPhones and iPads and Apple in general, they have amazing color accuracy. So you are in good hands right out of the box. As I mentioned, there are a lot of quarter 20 mounts here and you can pretty much rig the Simo Pro in your phone however you like. 
And because the SIMU charges your phone while it's on, you only need one battery to run the entire rig. Besides from I.O., you can also stream to social media like Facebook or Twitch or YouTube, and you can do this using either the network or cellular data. This turns your camera into a live streaming machine. This is incredibly valuable if you're switching between shooting footage and streaming online, especially if you depend on cellular for connection. I mean, no cameras have cellular yet, right? If you're just in it for social media, you'd want to go for the original SIMO. It's about half the price and supports the same services, with the exception of Frame.io and the SDI ports. Actually, with that old iPhone that I have here, you get a pro SIMing rig for around $230. If you do need SDI or cloud integration, then you need the pro version. That's right. I love this little gadget, and I can definitely see our team using it in trade shows. I think that the cloud integration alone is worth the price, but once you add in the monitoring and social media streaming features, you're looking into a single package for $350 and an old phone. I'm Udi Tirosh with DIYPhotography.net. I hope you enjoy this video and that you learned something. Hit the like button, the share button, just hit all the buttons on the screen, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.